Hey guys, it's Ian from KP Special Ops. And today I have the longly awaited loadout video. Now, this video is basically of my loadout head to toe. And I'm sorry for the long wait. I broke my leg. I had a cast on for about one month and a half. And I'm going to take off my neoprene face mask so you can hear me better. Um, as you know already, I'm going over my loadout. And I just took off my neoprene face mask, which covers my mouth and teeth and behind the back of my head from getting shot. Uh, also it keeps you warm in the winter, which is also a good thing. Now on the top of my head is a Mitch 2000 helmet, tan helmet of course, as you can see. And it has a GoPro mount on the top for when me, Dom, and Mike are at a war and filming. So I'm going to take this off. On my eyes I'm wearing my UTG full seal goggles. They have breathing in the top and the bottom. And it's rubber so it really seals to your face. Moving down I'm wearing a tan schmog to cover my neck from hits and the back of my neck from hits. Also, like the neoprene face mask, this also keeps you warm in the winter. You know those neck and everywhere on the neck actually really just kills when you get hit. Now on my hands I'm wearing Extreme Rage paintball gloves. I know most airsofters don't like paintball, but I mean, whatever, there's a happy medium. And these gloves I really like, they're very comfortable, they do are the hard knuckle gloves, velcro straps to really work and fit to your wrist so they fit on. Next is my Condor Molly vest. Now this vest came totally blank as you can see in the back. You can put whatever you want on it, and I just have a um, miscellaneous pouch where I keep my dead rags and speed loaders for my magazines. As you can see, I have a cool little patch that Don got me, also in KP Special Ops. It says, don't tread on me, and it has a little snake. Moving down on the plate carrier. Moving down on the plate carrier, I have a three mag holder. I like these kinds of holders because you don't have to velcro, undo the velcro, get the thing out, and then velcro it back up. This one you can just take it right out, you don't have to worry about any velcro, and the mags don't even fall out, so it's a bonus. In there I carry my three mags, of course, and going on I am wearing a Condor Tan Bungee One Point Sling that is attached to my KWA KM4 CQB M4 with MOE handguard and MOE 6 position LE stock. On the right side of my legs I have my drop leg holster carrying my KWA M93R Rafika with the mag on for the pistol on top of the giraffe like holster. For my leg multicam, I sport some true spec multicam pants that I got from my local Army Navy store. And now on my knee, I'm wearing one UTG knee pad for when I kneel down to shoot the enemies on the opposing team. Moving to the left hand side, I have my dump pouch for empty magazines that I have already used and you can easily roll it back up to my feet. I am wearing some waterproof boots that you could get at any local Walmart or Army Navy store or anything like that. They're actually very good, very durable. I've been wearing them for the last games, and they've worked out fine. Very comfortable. You can move around easily. This is my loadout, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Ian from KP Special Ops, and I'm truly sorry about the wait for this video. I've been, you know, I broke my leg, as I said earlier, and I just had all this stuff. 
and I want to give a shout out to everyone that subscribed to this channel. Anyone that sees this video, go on our channel and look at our subscribers. They really help us out dearly. They tell other people about us and they're really helping our channel grow. Also, I want to give a shout out to Godfather Airsoft because we have been going to their games for the past, I guess you could say month, and they're so much fun. They're just... And also their store. And this is Ian from KP Special Ops, and thank you for watching. This is KP Special Ops, signing off.